Hello and welcome to the demo. This demo shows you how to add the logical segments in NSXT Manager. Segments are virtual layer to domains. A segment performs the functions of a logical switch and connects to gateways and virtual machines. They allow the isolation of your applications and services for security and other purposes. As similar to port groups, virtual machines can be connected to the segment ports. There are two types of segments in NSXT data center. One is the VLAN backed segment and second one is the overlay backed segment. When creating a segment, you can define a gateway address, what upstream router it is connecting to, and you can define a DHCP range if required. To add the segment, log into the JOM server and open the NSX client URL and click on networking. Now, click on segment and click on add segment. Provide a name for the segment and select tier 1 from the connected gateway and type. Choose overlay TZ from the transport zone drop down box. And now click on set subnet. Click on add subnet to enter the gateway IP address. I'll be entering 172.19.0.1/24 and enter the DHCP IP ranges. Now click on add items and click on add. Select apply and click on save to save the configuration. Now let us add the NAT and SNAT rule for the workload segment we just created. Navigate to advanced networking and security tab and click on NAT and click on add button. Enter the priority as 1024 and select no SNAT in action drop down box and select any protocol. Now enter the source IP as 172.19.0.0/24. Now enter the destination IP as 10.3.0.0/16. Which is my VC Insider and click on add. Verify whether the rule has been successfully added or not. Now to add the SNAT rule, click on add button. Enter the priority as 1026 and select SNAT in the drop down box and click on any protocol. Now enter the source IP as 172.19.0.0/24. Now enter the translated IP, which is my NSX Edge IP address, and click on Add. Now let us add the route rule in the VCN for the newly created workload shader. Open the OCI tenancy page and open the navigation menu by clicking on the hamburger icon on the top left of the screen. Now go to networking and select virtual cloud networks. Click on your VCN and from the resources panel on the left, choose route tables. Select the route table for NSX Edge uplink 1 and click on add route rules. Select the target type as private IP and enter the destination cider block, which is the workload cider. Now enter the NSX Edge IP address, which is 10.3.0.131 in the target selection and click on add route rules. Once the route rule is added, we shall check the connectivity between two VMs which are residing in two different workloads either. Log into the vCenter server from your Bastion host and create two VMs in two different workloads either blocks. I have already created two VMs which is there in two different workloads either blocks for this demo purpose. I'm going to log into the VM which is there in one workload either and will test the connectivity to the other VM which is residing in 172.19.0.0/24 side block. I have got the IP of the VM, which is uh, uh, 172.19.0.2, and I'm gonna try to ping to that VM.
Notice that I'm able to ping to the VM successfully.